ready to level up your video game with cool filters? Well stick with me because in this quick 5 minute video tip, I'll show you how. from Socially Sorted and I help businesses get more traffic, shares and sales using visual storytelling. This is a series of quick five minute video tips to help you level up your video game. Now if you're new to this channel hit subscribe below and as always all the links to the good stuff are in the description below. Let's jump in. Now I'm recording this series of quick five minute video tips in one of my favorite video editing tools wave.video but first what do I mean by cool filter effects? We'll start with this podcast template. Okay, so here is our podcast template. And as you can see, it's got a lovely pink hue, very eye catching. And if I click on text, you'll see that all of the text features pop up on the right. But if I click on the image, and in this case, if you look down here, there's various images I use to make up the overall video. Click on the image. You can see we have this color filter thing going on here. Now, if I click on the color filter, I have lots of options. Currently it's this cool sort of uh, hot pink color. Uh, I can click on this bluey purple color or a yellow and you get different effects. So we'll stick with the one we've got. And also you have this percentage here. So if I take it right up, it will come up to quite an acidic effect. And strangely enough, that's a quite a popular design style at the moment, but we'll take it back down. So this is where we had it about here. And then if I remove it completely, you'll see the original image. Now that can kind of show you that if you add a, a color filter over the top of a pretty cool image, it can lift it even more. So you can take that image and make it very cool with a color filter. Let's take a look at another one. Let's transform this New Year's Eve video. Now it's not bad, this video segment, but we're going to lift it with some color. So we just click on the video segment, go to color filter and I add in my hex code for maybe my brand colors. So in this case, it's a purple. And then we just raise the opacity to about 50% and boom, we have this transformed video segment that looks kind of cool and very festive. Now we're going to do the next section the same way. I just choose my color filter, add in my hex code and change the opacity to the same level. All right, so you can see how that's transformed, how the video will look. And of course, I've added the last two sections as well. Let's have a look. Great, now I would change the music and change the messaging, but as you can see, you can completely transform a video to something very different with a color filter. And that's how easy it is. Let's take a look at another example. So this last example is just to show you how to add a sepia effect. So obviously colors can be cool, but just adding this brown sepia effect can give a real sort of nostalgia, retro, old effect or melancholy kind of thing. So this one here is a Father's Day video and I'm just going to show you what it looks like without the color filter. So here's the color filter here. Uh, it's set to like a quite a dark brown mahogany kind of color. If I remove that, then you'll see there's nothing there, but we'll just go back to that. And I can also play with this opacity just to show you what happens when I remove it. So you can see the image was a bit brighter and then just by adding in the opacity to, I think it was 34 or 35%, it will give that sepia effect. So as long as you choose a, a color that is sort of like a brown or a dark brown, then that will come through in the image. So this is another way that you can add an effect. If you want to just change it up a little bit, you can add a sepia effect to your filters. And that is how you can quickly add filter effects to lift your videos in Wave. And of course, you can take this same filter effect into any video editing tool. This is just the one that I'm using at the moment. And you can do it with images as well. So adding a color overlay and then reducing the opacity so that it shines through in that color or the underlying video or image shines through. So have some fun playing with filters. I'll look forward to seeing what you create. Hey there, if you like this five minute quick video editing tip, then you're in luck. There's more videos in the series. Check out the videos to the side and I will see you in the next one.